more gunshots. Ross! Stay they here. let me go! Stay here! Shut up! You might need Shut our help! Up. Stay here. Don't say anything. Just stay here. I'll come back and I'll get you. But you stay here! From now on, Russ is to be your immediate boss. So let me hear you call him that. Come on, Lance. Try it. Hey, look. I don't think we need to go through all this, okay? <laughs> you know, I don't think you know how far we go back in the business. I Mark. never was one for sentimentality. Now, correct me if I'm right or wrong, but I do believe you want to stay with our firm rather than taking a swift leave of absence. Am I correct? Well, that's a wise choice. So go ahead. Go ahead what? Go ahead and do what I told you to do. Okay, boss. What do you want me to do? Finally graduated, college boy. trying to hide what each of us is trying to do here? I think it is fairly obvious, isn't it? What's really obvious, Stacy, is the fact that your reconciliation plans are just not gonna work out. I mean, uh, the more Mother sees of Lee, the more she's not gonna wanna see Daddigans. Find the phone. Ben, please help him. 
blood's oxygenated. He's been hit in the lung. Is he breathing? I said, look for a phone. Okay. I think I saw wires over here. Oh, here it is. Call 911 emergency. Oh, Barry, it's not a dog. Easy, easy. Just look along the wall. Look along the wall for the phone connection. Is he dead? He's got a pulse, but it's weak and it's fading. Oh, dear Lord. Jesus. I know we heard two shots. I don't know if they both hit him. I... Oh, God. Oh, my God. Here it is. Here it is. It's working. Okay, tell them Saddleback Farm. Give them the same directions Russ gave you. Tell them we have a man who took two bullets at close range. Two? He's been hit in the lung and in the chest. <laughs> Can help me unpack. Still settling in, huh? Well, the house is rented along with the furniture, and I want to put enough of my things on view so that it reminds me of my house. <laughs> I'm surprised you had time to pack since you left Amber's almost as soon as you signed the lease. This box, my dear, has not been unpacked since I settled Mother's estate. It was a last chance check in every room box. <laughs> Second cousin to a wastebasket. You got the idea. <laughs> Sit down. Oh, I can't. I'm too excited. <gasps> I know. Let me guess. Your story went national. Oh, sure, that too. Oh, oh Stacy, I am so proud. <laughs> and I got a byline on the wire services. Well, what did McGovern say? Oh, McGovern told Gene that he said, I knew I had it in me all along. Can you believe it's that? It's about time he showed his faith in you. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh no. <laughs> you packed popcorn. I went to see a movie the night before I left Ohio. Oh, want some? Um, I think it may be slightly stale by now. Besides, I've already eaten, and that's why I'm really excited. Oh? I had dinner with Dad. Oh, that's nice. And guess what? I'm going to get to do the story on his fundraiser. Is he still planning one? Still. They need it more and more every day. The clinic's going through some real financial problems. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that. He could use the publicity your article will bring. They could use someone who knows how to raise funds and invite the right people even more. <laughs> Stacy, that was as deft and masterful a setup as I've ever heard. <laughs> All right, so that is why I came over. But this job is tailor-made for you. You'd give your eye teeth to get involved in a worthwhile community project like this in the old days. In the old days, yes. Before your father and I were divorced and before I committed myself to Lee Carruthers' campaign. You wouldn't be doing it for Dad. You'd be doing it for the people of Chesterfield. They need you, Mom. Did uh, Dave put you up to this? He doesn't even know I'm here. This is my idea. Besides, he's too wrapped up in the clinic. His life is the clinic's these days. It consumes him day and night. But that's not healthy. Oh, exactly. He can't do it all by himself. He needs the influential people of Kingsley behind him. And half of them don't even know the clinic exists. Oh, I am not unsympathetic, Stacy. It's just that I don't want to be bound to the past or motivated by guilt. I'm not asking you to be. Think of the people of Chesterfield, not of Dad. Why, I remember a time when you were president of the PTA, campaign chairman for Jerry Hockmeyer. Aha! I got him on city council. And chief fundraiser for Friends of Animals. You did it all. <sighs> oh. I remember this. <laughs> yes. I couldn't bring myself to throw it away after we divorced. So Grandma took it? Yes. She hid it in the attic. Silly little thing. <laughs> he must have given me about 50 stuffed toys when we were married. Oh, I know what you're thinking, Stacy. But harmless memorabilia and a conscious pursuit of the past are entirely different. Mom, I haven't said anything about pursuing a relationship. That's on your mind. All I'm asking is that you see him and, and offer your help. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't know where to see him. He's at the clinic now, all by himself.
All right, Dr. Martin, I'll talk to Sergeant Beat back just as soon as I get back to the station. Okay, I'll be at the hospital. All right. It's all right. It's okay. Listen, I'm going to ride with them in the ambulance to the hospital. You take your car and follow. No, I'm going with you. There's no need to do that. I'm not going to leave, Russ. All right. His heart stopped. Russ! Fibulate. Clear? Start CPR. Is he dead? You getting anything? Nothing. Ben! He's dead, Marianne. Something's crazy here. He's alive. Step on it. <laughs>
last time you saw Dad, Lee was there. He feels terrible about that, and so do you. Not the best of circumstances. Come on, Mom, please. He won't misread the situation. Just make it clear that you want to help on a friendly, civic-minded level. Oh, uh, how late will he be there? At least until 10. He's going over inventory. I have to, uh, I have to freshen up first. <laughs> oh, Mom, I love you. <laughs> And if that's Lee, I'm going to slam the door in his face. Lee is speaking at a Rotary convention tonight. Answer that, will you, Stacy? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's you. Yes, it's me. What are you smirking at? Who says I'm smirking? I bet it's that big time article you're working on, right? Where's Mother? She's freshening up, and I am proud of the article. Hmm. Any leads? I think it may have been sabotaged. Gil says he has some enemies over at the Office of Planning and Development. Yeah, he's mentioned that to me uh, 30 or 40 times. Well, one of them swore revenge after he jilted her. <sighs> she dumped a drink on his head at the castaway bar. And apparently there were several witnesses to her threats. Don't you think this is all a little bit overblown? Stranger things have been done for love. Sounds like a dime store romance. No, I don't, uh, I don't see how any woman could go to such lengths to get a man, much less get back at one. Mother! Oh, are you going out? Uh, yes. Lee? Uh, no. Sorry, I can't talk right now, Amber, but you are both welcome to stay as long as you like. Come on, where are you going? Just to see an old friend. Be sure and lock the door when you leave. <laughs> Why don't I like the sound of that? Is she going to see Dave? Who can say? You feel alive? Yeah, he's still in surgery. I was watching up on the observation deck. But he is alive. Yes, but he's not stabilized. His pulse is erratic. Have you taken out the bullets yet? One, the one near the heart. They're still working on the bullet in the lung. Is he going to live? Ben, there you are. Hey, John, listen, I'm glad you're here. Listen, I just stole a squad car, did 75 coming down Kensington. I called Gene on the radio. How's Weaver doing? Well, as I was telling Marianne, he's still in surgery. His condition's critical. Marianne, I really can't speculate on his chances. I mean, he's young and he's strong, but those wounds could be fatal. I understand you two were there. Yeah, we were outside the farmhouse. We heard the two shots. Then you've got to look at his assailant. Well, not very well. Um, he came out of the house after the shots were fired. Description. Do we have to go through this now? Yes, the sooner we get on an APB on this guy, the sooner we can pick him up. Uh, I really didn't see his face, John. Um, but he's medium height, yeah. medium build. Mm -hmm. um, he ran pretty fast. He was younger then. Probably. He had his car there. What was the make? I don't remember. Uh, I think it was some foreign model. Sports car, red. You realize who this is, don't you? Lance? I bet the whole case on it. I'm going to phone this description into the station. Okay. How are you holding up? I'm fine. <laughs> oh, I can just see that. I really don't want to leave you here alone. Ben, don't worry, please. I'm... I can't go home anyway. Well, I'd like to get Lori over here, but Dr. Galvin says she has to relax. Still, I should probably call her. Hey. Uh, Brubaker just went that way. Yeah, I just saw him. Uh, Marianne, are you all right? Listen, Russ is still in surgery. I'm going up and uh, watch it from the observation deck. Ben, yeah. I'll be here in the waiting room. Okay. Uh, ben, can I ask you a couple of questions? Listen, I told John everything I saw. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Marianne, I don't suppose you'd feel like talking. No, please not now. Okay. Boy, what a night. Prostitution bust, two B&Es. I thought I was going to get to go home tonight. Now this. Yeah, okay. Uh, John, uh, Ben told me that you got a statement from him. Yeah, well, nothing concrete, but we know it's Lance. He was dead. What's that? Russ was dead. They said that in the ambulance. And then his heart started beating again. Even the paramedics gave up on him. Well, how does he know? Well, he's critical, but it's not too optimistic. No. No, I gave up on him. And so do the paramedics. But God hasn't, and he never will. Oh, 
I cut swabs. Order. Swabs. Hydrogen peroxide. Who is it? Dave, it's me. Kate? Hello. Maybe I should have called. No, no, it's uh, all right. I'd like to talk. May I come in? Please. 